art in particular. It's sunny in Scotland for once, Jesus Christ. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, it's Jay, and welcome to my channel. And if you saw my last video, which was my geeky themed jewellery video, where I showed you all my geeky themed jewellery, um, I, um, I thought I would continue that today by showing you all my geeky themed tops from my aptly named geeky t-shirt drawer. There's a lot of Harry Potter t-shirts, obviously, there are some Fantastic Beast ones in there too. Uh, horror ones, there's a couple Disney, um, I think that's about it, I'm not sure, there might be some miscellaneous ones in there, I think there's band t-shirts in there and I think there's a League of Gentlemen t-shirt in there if you know who they are, um, so yeah I thought I'd show you them today. Um, I know that my last video was supposed to be reacting to Fantastic Beasts trailer but obviously due to everything that's happening in the world just now um, it was postponed and rightly so. Um, I saw a lot of people saying you were disappointed that it wasn't getting shown and they were waiting all day for it and I was like yeah but like the, it has war in it so it's not going to it's not up appropriate right now so and I just kind of wanted to make this video for like some light-hearted entertainment so it can take people's mind off the situation you know just to create some nice geeky themed content just to brighten someone's day maybe hopefully so if you guys like this video please hit the like button um if you like the content that i make feel free to hit the subscribe button why not like i said in my last video i've gone up to 80 which to me is amazing let's see if we can go to 85 90 maybe let's try it um so yeah uh, without further ado let's just get started it's not organized because i'm one of those people that just wants to wear a t-shirt and it's in the wash and other thing just shoves it back in so there's not it i will probably have to organize it afterwards because we go Oh my god, see it doesn't even open. Like, I emptied this ages ago to put some stuff on my vintage and... Uh, which, which I could do, basically, in here today as well. Like, if I don't like anything, I could sell it on my vintage. And if you like the t-shirts, I will leave my vintage um, profile down below if you guys want to check out what I'm selling. Because I sell, like I said, I sold some of my geeky jewellery on there. I sell books, uh, clothes, miscellaneous stuff. So. I will also try and tell you guys where I got them. And how much they were. I got off Vinted for about £3 and it was originally from a Loot Crate box because I'd seen loads of Harry Potter um, influencers wearing this and I was like I love that t-shirt and I, I was trying to find it. I found one it was gone and I was like where in this and I managed to get this for so it's up for £3 off Vinted so I was delighted. So it's an advanced potion making uh, t-shirt so obviously it just looks like that and then it has the Half-Blood prints down the sleeve. This one I got off Vinted again as well. I did wear this in my top 10 Harry Potter items video it is just a um up it's a honey duke shirt and it's got honey dukes on the sleeve and it's got all the some different flavors of um bright butts every flavor beans on here so it's got grass earwax pepper blueberry and cherry and it's a horror t-shirt and I got this from H&M I think and I think it was probably between five to eight pounds it's just the exorcist one is another Harry Potter t-shirt it's just a plain black long sleeved long shirt and it has the sorting hat on it. I got this out of a um, geek gear box. got this in America a good few years ago now. It is a Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them t-shirt with um, the hand with um, the hand coming out of the suitcase and it's got Newt's insignia at the bottom. I got that from Hot Topic. Um, I think it was probably maybe between 15 to 20 dollars. I don't know but that was years ago so I don't know if they still have them. This one was uh, from Geek Gear. I always get them, the Geek Gear ones in a large, I think, because I, I think I could go down to a medium now, but um, I just love them because they're obviously, it's baggy. So it's just like a little um, design of the Hogwarts houses. So you've got Ravenclaw at the top, then you've got the line on, well, that would be on my right hand side, so it'll probably be on your left. And then slow on the opposite side of the line, and then underneath is the badger. And then in the middle, it's just got like a shield with a lightning bolt and an H in it. So it's just kind of a takeoff. All the Hogwarts houses. So if you've seen my Instagram, you've seen that I'm wearing this with like um, a Hogwarts shirt underneath. Which I, I, I oh, I should probably say some of these are that I don't show are probably in the wash because I wear a few of them quite constantly. Um, so I have a Hogwarts shirt from Primark um, that I bought off eBay, which was a while ago. So that's in the wash that I normally wear for my cosplay for a Hogwarts student. Um, but you can find them on eBay. Vinted have a few of them and they're quite decently priced if you want like a nice little shirt. So I wore that under this and this is a H&M online exclusive and I'm not getting paid to say anything about this. I just saw this and I had to have it. That was really, really cute. Um, so it's just like a little vest top, like a little cardi vest and it's really cute for like obviously putting over shirts. You can wear it on its own. It's really cute and I just love the colours like the green and the burgundy and it's got all the houses on it. 
so I fell in love with it. They have a really nice red jumper on there at the moment. It just says it's got like a golden snitch on it. It says Hogwarts, but like it's not that I'm not a big fan of red, but um, I hardly wear any red because I don't. Um, I just don't have. I just it just never attracts me that color. I don't know why. Maybe if I was a Gryffindor, it'd be different, but. Um, Maybe that shows I was destined to be in Ravenclaw because my favourite colour is blue, so. Oh, this is a cute t-shirt. I think I got this recently or a couple boxes ago. This is also from Geek Gear. Long, you get short sleeve and long sleeves in there, as you guys would have known if you've seen all my videos. I explain everything. And it is just the um, statue that guards Dumbledore's office. And in Geek Gear, they do really this one. It is like a pastel colours and it's Trelawney's Tea Club and it's just got like obviously a cup of tea in the middle. They're one of my favourite t-shirts. I love to wear this t-shirt to bed. Again, off Geek Gear. This is the Burrow. Orsi St. Chapel, Devon, where it's located, and it's just this is like one of my favourite things in Harry Potter is the Weasley family on the Burrow. Like I would love to live here. I would absolutely love to live here. Like I think if I was to pick a family to be in in the Wizarding World, it would be the Weasleys. Uh this is one of my favourite this is one of my absolute favourite shirts, and even though werewolves scare the bejesus out of me. I will never get rid of it. Again, long sleeved, and then it says RL's finest milk chocolate. It's got chocolate at the bottom, werewolf on the chocolate bar in the middle there, and it says, Eat, you'll feel better, which is one of my favourite quotes because it's true. This one I got off Vinted. I don't originally know where it's from. I'm guessing possibly Primark. It looks a little faded, but I kind of like that style. It is a Honey Jukes shirt, and you can see it's got chocolate frogs on there, cauldron cakes, quills, jelly slugs. Um, rat, I think a rat, a cockroach, um, it'll be like cockroach clusters or something. Really, really cute. Again, this is from Geek Gear. I love wearing this. Long sleeve again, and it's Ogden's straight whiskey, old fire whiskey, and it's really, I love that because me and my dad um, do love to have a whiskey together every now and then. So I always, I always like to wear this around because look, that he's like, do you get? He was like, do you get whiskey in the Wizarding World? I was like, yeah, you do. Fire whiskey. This is like a Disney shirt on the front uh, and it's purple different colored so you can get what that was it's got jack and sally on the front and it says we're simply meant to be and then on the back it just says the tim, tim burton's nightmare before christmas oh this one i haven't worn yet um I, I think i have no i don't think i have um i got this again geek gear this one of those short sleeve ones it's a nice navy blue shirt and it's just got a bunch of like um bird like beasts with wings so you've got obviously a hippogriff a phoenix a dragon and an owl and it looks like a griffin and uh, a hippog maybe it's two hippogriffs because i can't really tell what the other one is um like i say i haven't really worn this yet and i normally wait maybe till the next geek gear box comes before i look through my shirts and go have i worn this yet have i not and the geek gear box should be dispatched soon so this one might be going on my vintage in the next month or so so if you like the look of this shirt keep an eye out on my vintage because it might be on there because i actually haven't worn it yet this one i love it was this one i found on ebay and the thing about it for three quid i'm not gonna lie and it's all the way from universal the wizarding world of, of harry Potter and universal Orlando, and it's an extra large and it is harry's triwizard tournament shirt so it's just the red and black with the Hog hogwarts insignia on there and potter on the back with the star and i know now which i think i might order myself eventually is you get they're now doing these on the warner brothers tour website with all of the different houses so obviously it'd be black and yellow black and green and black and blue and you can get your own name on the back so if someone um what's coming up my birthday so i might get my one of my family members like what do you want can i get this with my name on the back this one was from geek gear and i I haven't worn it a lot, but I just can't give it away because I don't have that many Fantastic Beast shirts. And this is really cute. So it's like a bright kind of purple shirt with Newt there. And it says, worrying means you suffer twice. These might have to go because I haven't worn them. So these might come on my Depop. I think it was my sister or someone got me these. And they're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle leggings. Purple with all of them on it. And slices of pepperoni pizza. But I generally think I am going to have to sell these because... I'm being ruthless. I haven't worn them in years. I think I just kept them for sentimental value because I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, but yeah, I think these are going to have to go. This t-shirt I love to wear. Bed, jeans, everything. It's just a nice grey shirt. 
and it's the three brothers the tale of the three brothers from the tales of beetle the bard i love this shirt this might have to go as well because i've not worn this for years and i think i got it off red bubble if you guys know that like there's some really cool designs in it and it's a large it's just a plain white skirt and it's got pokeball dragon ball that's from digimon and it's the same on the other side it did it did on the site said it come with a Yu-Gi-Oh card in the belt and that's kind of why i did want it as well because i love Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't know if I'll throw this out or not because I do like it. I don't know whether to get rid of this one because I do kind of like it. It's just a grey simple t-shirt again from Geek Gear with an owl on it and underneath it says PS. The bird bites. This one's cute. I love this. Um, I like to keep ones that are like diagonally themed as well because it's, it's my favourite place. So it's like um, all of your feathered friends requirements Elops Owl Emporium diagonally. But I don't know. I might, I might sell. I probably will sell this one because I haven't worn it for a while. It's just a grey shirt. With an owl carrying an acceptance letter. This I won't get rid of because you can, you'll know why when I unwrap it. My sister got me this from Primark ages ago in a size large because she just thought I want you to be comfy. It's a Marauder Map jumper and it's got all this detailing down the sleeves. Like that. And then this bit is like a weird like f like soft material compared to this one. It's like a, I think you can hear it. It's so, like when you, it's just like so nice. Just to like stand, just to stand the lettering out on as well. I think it's really cool. This one's cute. I love this. Um, just again, geek gear. Plain simple t-shirt. Sherbert lemons. And it says, bewitching bursts of citrus. And I just, I love the plain black with the bright, vibrant yellow and the greens. And with the white detailing around the sides. Like it's a poster for it. It's so cute. And it's Dumbledore's favourite candy. So I approve. It's cute. I got this on Vinted. It was originally from... Hot Topic in America and it's a large but it fits me quite nice. It is a dress and it's got all, all different owls, it's got all the owls on it and all those Hogwarts acceptance letters on it and it's the same design on the back and it's got this kind of like nice crisscross detail at the top. I'll have to show you guys the other stuff that I have in there that's geeky which is like my Harry Potter dresses. I bought another dress for London but I might take this as a backup maybe. Yeah I might take this as a backup. Horror t-shirt which I got from Tesco and I think it was £10 but it's Tesco and the only one I could find I think is like an extra extra large but I, I don't mind because I can just wear it as a t-shirt dress. It is Friday the 13th, Jason Lives. I got these off of Depop and they're originally from Black Milk Clothing. Now they, they're normally very expensive on their own so like I never buy from Black Milk Clothing because I don't have the money to do it. So I think I got these off of Depop for about 12 quid, um, and they're like these cute but well, I haven't worn them yet because the weather in Scotland, not good. And they're these cute little um, blue navy shorts and then they've got like um, all the Hogwarts house and like constellations. And I think I, I got these off eBay. I think they're around five pound, just blue leggings with um, Ravenclaw on either side. It's like one of my favorite shirts, just white, simple again from Geek Gear. So I don't know how much it is on its own. But it's like nice pastel colours and it says anything from the trolley days as we all know. We love the trolley lady because she brings the sweets. All the chocolate frogs, all the lily pops, all your pumpkin bestie. This is the cute, I haven't worn this yet because I was like, I was trying to find it the other day and I couldn't find it and it is so cute again from Geek Gear. Long black shirt. This one's quite thick actually, I never noticed. This one's quite thick, it's not really that thin. And you can see a little dog on there, little star. And it's a Sirius, the dog star, the brightest star in the sky, almost twice as bright as Canopus. Look how cute it is. I think I got this. Where did I get this? HMV, I think. And it's dark with the with the green there. It's got the Elder Wand triangle, and it's kind of in like the Deathly Hallows shape, and it's got Albus Dumbledore and Gellert Grindelwald. These will have to go because I every time I wear them they fall down. They're in size medium. I think I got them off Wish but they're, they're I haven't worn them for a while. They annoy me. They fall down and they just say Ravenclaw down the side and they look like gym uh, leggings. Did I get in Hot Topic? Or where did I get this? I want to say I got in Hot Topic because I won't get this anywhere else. It's just like a long baseball dirt style shirt with stripes on either arm and it just says Ravenclaw Quidditch. This shirt my sister got me from Redbubble so I'm not sure how much it is and it's 
uh, you say from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds because I watched the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and 5Ds and I love 5Ds. Oh, this is one of my favourite shirts from uh, Geek Gear again. Long grey shirt. Kind of cropped at the front, small at the front a little bit. All aboard the Hogwarts Express! Choo choo! Love this. Because it's just, oh. You can't have Hogwarts with the Hogwarts Express. Again, Geek Gear, Navy, short sleeve. It's got the Marauders on it, so you've got pro you got James, Prongs, you got Werewolf, so Lupin, Mooney, Sirius, Padfoot, and at the bottom, Wormtail, Peter Pettigrew. And at the bottom it says, reveal your secrets. This was definitely from Hot Topic, and this was probably more than 20 bucks. Can't remember, but it's a Ravenclaw cardigan, and it's not book colours, it's got like silver, stripes on either side the Ravenclaw insignia and it has buttons so it does button up like half of the way but like I like to leave it open sometimes and it's just cute again all black outfit black top statement represent your house this my sister got me years ago in a like um anime box thing she got me I think it was for Christmas or birthday and it's just L so you'll know that if you know the anime let me know in the comments I will reveal it in five Death Note. And I'm recently watching it again. I think I'm nearly done almost as well. So I'm, I just have the urge to watch it. I was just like, I want to watch Death Note. And I have my own Death Note, actually. I bought it from a geek shop in Glasgow. I have my own Death Note, by the way. For any haters watching. <laughs> it's another horror t-shirt. Again, I think I got this in HMV, probably. It is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre shirt. Who will survive and who will, and what will be left of them? This I got off Depop and it's really cute. It's like a Bart Simp Simpson um, denim style shirt. Really cute long sleeves. You can cuff it, uncuff it. Um, the buttons are good, doesn't come out. It's got a pocket in the front. I think I paid maybe 15 for this because I think it was from like a flea market or something. So I was like, fair enough. This I got when I went to see the League of Gentlemen live on tour. Um, if you don't know what the League of Gentlemen are, you should watch it. It's very dark humour. Three Shear Smith, Steve Pemberton and Mark Gatiss got the We Didn't Burn Him shirt with tabs on the front. If you know who sh if you know who League of Gentlemen are, thumbs up this video and let me know in the comments below who's your favourite League of Gentlemen character. I got this when I went to see Pink live with Lucy. Uh, we went, I think that's a good three years ago now, I want to say. Three years ago? Not entirely. Yeah, three years ago, I think. It just says a beautiful trauma. Clips her tour. Pink World Tour. It's got like... It's like a camouflage style, it's got like a tiger there and it says it on the, yeah 2019 it says it on the side. It's so cute. So it's a Sherlock shirt. Lucy got this in pink and I got it in blue. So it says, um, I don't understand. And on the back, I still don't understand John H. Watson. So you'll know it from that episode with um, Magnus and he's like, you should, he's like when he keeps saying I don't understand, he's like you should put it on the t-shirt and then John says I still don't understand he goes and there's the back of the t-shirt. Standard geeky t-shirt, I don't know where I got this from, probably, probably HMV or somewhere. Um, Daddy's Little Monster, we can all guess where that's from. This is just another, it's a horror, it is a horror shirt because it's got the name of a horror film on it. Again, H&M, probably about five to seven quid and it just says A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is a Disney shirt. That I got from Primark, so it was probably maybe five to eight, five to eight pounds. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's just striped, got a nice, cute little tie knot moment at the bottom, and it says it's genie. It just says, "Hey, girl." My grand got me this off a site. I don't know where. Um, it, this is what an old one, and you'll see why. It's all the Doctor Who's. It just ends at Capaldi, so it, has, it doesn't have Whitaker on it. And I got this off Depop. I found it, and I just had to have it. I um, I don't know. Let's say which one is it from? Band. Bandapparel.co.uk. It's a long sleeve cardigan. It's got like nice, it's got cute little bats on the um sleeves. And then on either side, and on either side you have Frankenstein and Frankenstein's bride. And the buttons as well are green, so they stand out on the cardigan. I think it's so cute. Got this in London um in 2020. Um it, I, it was originally eight pounds I think but it's gone for four and I, I had to have it because it was so and it was lost in there and it's so cute it's a Disney Pixar shirt it says I do not like the cone of shame Doug he, I love Doug he's so cute I hid under your porch because I love you squirrel everyone I saw like had this t-shirt and it was 
expensive on some sites and I was like what and I think I got it on eBay for five pounds and it's really cute and it just says a Tim Burton film my life okay I think we're down to like our last kind of two shirts like I said some of them are probably in the wash and I apologize um and then we'll move on to my wardrobe this is a 21 pilot shirt that I got um in 2019 when I went with Emily to see them and it just says their tour on the back their bandito tour and I heard of them before Emily invited me um I heard a few of their songs because I say it's in the Suicide Squad soundtrack uh and I did like them so they were really good live like absolutely amazing last one is <laughs> I got this off of um, EMP, uh, probably around 13 99 not gonna lie. And it is Serial Killer. That's just Michael Myers with a bowl of cereal. That is the drawer empty. Um, before I move, I will say these Ravenclaw leggings are gonna be sold on my Vinted. This skirt is not. I am gonna sell this. I'm gonna keep this just now. I'll sell this one, I think. Let's move over to the wardrobe. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. Why did I do that? <laughs> I'm a neep. Just leave, just feel free to, don't unsubscribe, just feel free to. I call it Ravenclaw Quidditch jersey long sleeve sweater from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Again, this is this was probably seventy pounds. Not gonna lie, but I was feeling I, I wanted it. I wanted it. Got this in London. If you'd seen in my London vlogs that I did last with Emily, Orange Hoodie says The Shining. On there, on the back, it says a masterpiece of modern horror. Shining again on the other sleeve, and it just has Danny. It says Tony. I'm scared. Uh, oh, I've got a couple Ravenclaw. Hoodies. This one I got off of Vinted for £8 I think. Don't quote me. I don't know. It's possibly 8 It's just like a grey and navy kind of coloured hoodie. And then you have the Ravenclaw insignia on the front which is like the cool, it's like kind of like a cool new design of it. It's really cool. I love this design. And then you got the bigger version of it on the back. So if they didn't, if they didn't see it from the front they're going to see it from the back. Yeah, which house do I represent? Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw hoodie that you get from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour with the emblem on it and the pattern inside the hoodie and obviously you get them in all the houses. Got this Wish, two, three quid. I know it's not like a, it's like, look at that. Property of the Joker. So I've got Harley Quinn's jacket. I have my Attack on Titan Scout Regiment jacket. Um, I don't want to put it on. I think my sister got this off Wish, I don't know. Uh, but it's a nice fit. It doesn't tie up or anything, so it just sits nice like that. And the pockets are... I can't remember if the pockets are real or not. The pocket is real. The pockets are real in here. So you just have the insignia here. On the side. On the side. And on the back. <laughs> so, this looks cute. I'm only one thinking this looks kind of cute with my outfit. The cape that goes along with the uniform. Annie Duke's dress, I already got it from EMP. It's not sold on there anymore, sadly. I don't know where you can get it. It's got like a nice, it's sipped at the back. Kind of like elastic in the middle, give me room. It's got pockets. So it's got all these cute little, it's got sugar skulls on it, Honey Dukes, wands, chocolate frogs, little gumballs. So cute. And Newt Scamander style dress. So it goes like that. So you've got the tip, you've got the skirt version, the little, um, what's that called? Waistcoat, the shirt underneath, you've got the bow tie there, it's got the insignias on the buttons and you get a little picket in your pocket. This I got off of eBay, it's not the, a black milk one because they're designed different, it's definitely not. I just got this off of eBay, I think it was about six to eight, ten pound they wanted for it and it's just a Marauder's Map dress. This is the dress I bought off EMP recently and there's they've sold out this one as well just now because it just came back when I looked on there. I got in a large, it is a bit big, it's not too noticeable, but I think if it was tight I wouldn't like it. Um, I probably would. But I can wear it, not that, if it was tight I probably would feel some self-consciousness, that even a word. Um, I would probably feel a little self-conscious wearing it a little bit, but I can always wear it with a belt, tighten it up and it's so cute. It's like 
this is like when you put it on you can wear this any sort of way you can wear it as a hood you can wear it like on your shoulders like this it's so cute nice red it's like Hedwig all in there you got with some letters him with a broom you got some feathers in there and you go down it's nice and I know I say never buy red but this was just so cute and I thought wearing that in London looks so cute and then on the bottom Hedwig Mini sweet. Well, that's everything, guys. I think that's every geeky clothing item I might have that is not in the wash. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, please let me know in the comments by putting... What do I want you guys to put? If you made it this far, put in the comments below, it's cool to be a geek. That way I know you've watched the whole video. Um, so, yeah, thank again, 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 thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like this kind of content from me, feel free to subscribe, please, and thank you. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys for another video. Bye.